C'è Pirlo, 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 ancora Pirlo di Tecco, Pirlo, Hello, you're listening to Calcio Daily, everything you need to know about Italian football in less than five minutes. Ciao ragazzi, this is Andrew with your Calcio Daily for Wednesday, October 13th. They are the richest football club owners in the world, but the new regime at Newcastle United are being realistic about what players to buy in January and are apparently looking for value. The new Saudi owners are looking to Serie A to get that value with names such as Lorenzo Insigne, Federico Chiesa and Frank Kessi among those being looked at. Insigne and Kessi are coming to the end of their current deals, but Chiesa is potentially a generational player who can have a huge impact on the Azzurri, already starring in the Euro 2020 campaign. It simply wouldn't make sense to try and buy the likes of Erling Haaland as he would be the diamond in the farmyard. No offence Newcastle players, but seriously, what could he do for them right now? It seems sensible to spend the first transfer window beefing up the squad to make them competitive for next season. Bear in mind that Newcastle have not won a single game in the Premier League so far this season. However, it would be genuinely sad if Serie A's best players were to leave the country. Even more sad if the majority of the Azzurri squad were included in that exodus. Switzerland's 4-0 win away to Lithuania last night brought them level with Italy in their qualifying group for next year's World Cup. Italy stay on top thanks to a slightly better goal difference but looming large in November is the game in Rome on November 12th when Italy and Switzerland go head to head. After that Italy face Northern Ireland while Switzerland play Bulgaria in their final group game. A huge blow to Milan as goalkeeper Steve Mannion revealed he is having surgery on his wrist this week. It means Milan are down to one keeper as number three choice Alessandro Pizzari is out till the new year. Here are this weekend's Serie A matches. On Saturday, Spezia Salernitana, Lazio Inter, Milan Verona, while on Sunday, Cagliari Sampdoria, Empoli Atalanta, Genoa Sassuolo, Udinese Bologna, Napoli Torino and Juventus Roma, while on Monday, Venezia play Fiorentina. And there ends your Calcio Daily for today. We work hard to bring you the top Italian football news every ding-dong day and we can only do it with your support. You can return the favour with a thumbs up, follow, like or subscribe on whatever platform you choose to listen to us. We're on YouTube and TikTok at Calcio Daily, Twitter and Instagram at Calcio Daily Pod. You can even send us Bitcoin payments by using the Fountain Podcast app from newpodcastapps.com. Until tomorrow, this is Andrew saying, Arrivederci ragazzi, a domani!